<laughs> Clip. He said no. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Game number two in Asia. Game number two in Asia. Notice how he it doesn't even show a name. I bet uh, they they know how to make it more difficult to find their Steam profile. If they don't say anything in game, if they don't pick up a bounty and they have a name that is unsearchable on Steam, I cannot get their profile. Oh, here he goes again. This is very Wang's I like. <laughs> this is very Wang's I like, by the way. This is the teammate. This is also the teammate who all have hidden profiles, and I'm sure the other guys has too. We can one realistically report cheaters if the profiles of said cheaters cannot be found. Is there a solution? Nope. That's how they're going to keep getting away with it. If you can't get their profiles, you can't report them on HuntShowdown.com, and all you can do is report them in-game. And everybody knows reporting them in-game does nearly absolutely nothing. I can't get their profiles, so they're going to get away with it. <laughs> that's what it says so that's what they're doing now it's not even clickable dude i can't even open it so you can't yo it's not even reportable <laughs> yeah there's no report button you can't even click it i'm clicking all right look I'll click on this guy's name report button i'm right on that guy's name oh i don't want to look it's not even clickable. I can't even report him. So they can't even be reported now. I can't get his account. I can't report the account. They're gonna, they're that, they have free entry to do that forever now. There's been some development in the cheaters. Yes, so now you can't even click on their name to report them anymore. There's been some developments. I've had people give me screenshots of names like that before where it said no platform account and it was on console and I thought maybe it was a console specific thing, but apparently not. They're figuring out how to make it so you cannot click on their names, which means there's no report button. You can click on their teammates, but the teammates are probably going to do it too. This is getting really crazy. If you think it's going to be isolated to just Asia servers, just like the NVIDIA inspector thing, just like reshade, just like all the other little sneak methods to do things, this is going to spread probably to everywhere. So get ready to not be able to report anybody. You can't get their name. You can't. I, what are you going to do? <laughs> what are you going to do? I have no idea what they're going to do about that. This was originally going to be a video responding to some of the critiques and criticisms about the uh, the first video. But literally yesterday, we decided to watch games just for fun. For old time's sake, go watch some games. And that happened in literally the second game we watched in Asia. So I haven't watched any games for a few months. And apparently they've developed some new things. That's a little scary. I was told by the senior community manager of Hunt Showdown to use the report system like everybody else, but I mean, I, I can't even report them anymore. So what, what do we do now? The official Hunt Discord has blocked the URL to the first video, which is funny. <laughs> I don't know how you, how you want to call that. They're they're doing some damage control. They're trying to control like how much discussion gets put out about this whole topic. They blocked the URL to my video in the Discord. They made a cheating mega thread on Reddit, which basically means that you can't make you can't make text posts about cheating on the uh, the subreddit. You can still post clips and have discussions about that, I believe, but you cannot post cheating discussions, I think is how that works. They gave me a little shout out in it. Uh, videos on the top are still allowed, whether they're clips of suspected or blatant cheaters or videos like Huge's recent YouTube upload. Suggested solutions or different anti-cheat? Clearly, the anti-cheat isn't doing anything. Let's say I was a business and I had security set up and people were getting into an area that I didn't want them repeatedly over and over. I would be getting new security, <laughs> right? Doesn't that just make sense? Whatever anti-cheat they have or supposedly have isn't doing anything. The same cheaters are coming back using the same cheats. Whatever they have in place is clearly not working. The reason they said my video is blocked in the Discord, it's because of a no name and shame rule. Sure. I'll show this uh, old post about how many cheaters they are. They were banning. 
for people who think hunt has a very low like an extremely low amount of uh, cheaters here is a old this is old april 6 2020 on huntshowdown.com where they are talking about cheaters this is also going into how communicative they are they used to be informative about what they're doing about cheaters and if you look down here they actually shared how many people they were banning per month in 2020 430 in january 440 in february 560 in march and if you look at the steam charts for hunt showdown at that time january february march of 2020 if you extrapolate that to today you can see you could guess how many people they were banning they could be banning okay of course there could be different things something changed who knows i don't know but if you go by their numbers you could get a rough estimate of how many they're banning now that's not even like per game you know you know all of my stats were like how many cheaters or how many games i got in with a cheater in it right Right? this is actually players banned it would be nice to have them communicate a little more on the subject like they used to what they did they say they don't want to communicate about anything now because giving them any information giving cheat creators any information about what they're doing helps them if the cheat creators know how to get around anti-cheats then that helps them right that makes sense but i think just saying how many people are banned absolutely gives players some peace of mind about the situation and i don't think what are cheat providers going to gain from knowing about how many players were banned because this these numbers now are probably 1800 1400 and 1900 that's probably roughly how many they banned a month if they're still doing it the same way assuming they're doing that there's been a lot of um responses to the video people basically said if you look at the u.s servers europe if you look at everywhere except Asia, the cheater numbers are looking pretty good. Even some uh, prominent individuals said that too. There was a clip of somebody where they said they play in Europe. And if you look at the spreadsheet that I gave, the Europe servers look pretty good. If that's really what they think, what they're really saying is if every single region was full of cheaters except for their region, they wouldn't care about it. What they have to realize is I'm not watching during peak hours for NA West, NA East, Europe, Russia, Australia, OCE, or South America. I'm watching during middle of the night. I'm one person watching one game at a time, watching one person in each game at a time. I guarantee people are doing this right now. I guarantee if other people watched games on other servers during peak times, they would come up with very different numbers than what I came up with. The most perfect way to do this would be go to every server region during its peak time and watch a thousand games and log them all. I'm not going to be the one to do that. Somebody else is going to have to do that if you want the most perfect data. It's not going to be me. I already did my part. I'm fine with, you know, passing the torch to somebody else, but it ain't going to be me to do that. Even if my numbers were perfectly accurate, it just shows that it could be happening in any region and it's just not. It just shows that can be happening in any region. It's just not happening right now, which should be a little worrying to people. For it to be like just in one region, that's still, it's like, oh, my neighbor's house is on fire. I don't really care though. It's kind of, I don't know, that's weird to me. After that first video came out, I had a handful of players from the Asia region contact me saying how bad the situation is over there. I had somebody send me some information that I'll show you now. They explain why there's so many cheaters on Asia servers and how easily accessible they are. Essentially, on what is the Chinese version of Amazon, you can get cheats for Hunt Showdown. <laughs> there are options for, like, if you want to play with a girl, there is an option to have a girl play with you, and that's it, nothing crazy. You can pay for that, and they're cheating, and other options like that. The spreadsheet was only six star games. I did say that I spectated one star games and I spectated six star games. The only games that I logged into the spreadsheet were six star games. So we found, we did find cheaters in one star games. We found a ton of cheaters in uh, six star games, but everything that I logged into the spreadsheet was only six star games. Why did I watch Asia so much? It was the middle of the night. NA servers were dead. Europe servers were dead. We did spectate those, but for the most part, they, those were completely boring games that we watched. We did find some cheaters there. Think about it. If you're trying to catch fish and you have three lakes that you can go to and you know one lake has a lot of fish in it, which lake are you going to go to? You're going to go to the one with fish in it. 
And also people, I've seen some people um, claim like, oh, I watched games in a region until I found one cheater and then I stopped. Some people think that they know the order that I that I was watching the games in or something. You know what I mean? Here, let me go back to the spreadsheet. Some people like they see, let's say US East. They think that I watched 144 games and then I found one cheater and just stopped watching games there. That's not what happened. I kept watching games. I just happened to find one. So people don't know the order that those games happened in. I thought that was a little weird too. A lot of people have also said I might be a six star solo, but I'm still solo going into games. And that means I'm not watching actual six star games. We actually tested this. People brought up that point and we actually tested it. Me and two other six star players went into games together. So we were a full six star trio and we were getting into what seemed to be the same games. As a solo, I have been in games where everyone in the server is six stars, but that happens so rarely that I think there just isn't a very high population of actual six star players to get games together with them consistently unless you're playing at peak hours so i was getting into games at the highest elo that was available so some people were asking me why some names were blurred like i think there was a prestige 100 player whose name was blurred that's because on stream it was blurred the way i did it was i always blurred everyone's name until i saw that they were cheating once i saw somebody actually cheating i unblurred their name and showed it so if i showed a clip of somebody cheating and they were prestige 100 and their name was blurred it wasn't because i was trying to hide their identity i've shown tons of people's names who are cheating it was because I automatically blur everybody's name. And at that point in the clip, I hadn't yet unblurred their name. So it's not like I was hiding them, trying to protect them in some way. It was just because their name hadn't been shown on stream yet. I had somebody in chat tell me that they might be able to get a message to Wang Zai and they asked me if I would be interested in doing an interview with them, uh, to which I said yes. <laughs> so I guess possible Wang Zai interview in the future. If you have any ideas for questions, what would you ask Wang Zai if you could possibly ask them anything you want? Leave a comment. <laughs> if you could ask them anything, what would you ask them? Why are other streamers dismissing slash downplaying it so much? Well, they're doing a lot of damage control right now, right? My video is blocked in their Discord. They have a cheating mega thread up on the subreddit. You can't really post specific discussions on the subreddit, right? They're doing as much damage control as they as they can. And who else is in their pocket? Crytek partners. What happens is when a streamer usually gets to a certain size, they end up getting uh, a Crytek partnership, right? And what comes with a Crytek partnership? A, an NDA. They're not allowed to talk about certain things. I obviously don't know what's in said NDA, so I can't pretend I do. But of course, they're telling their Crytek partners, hey, let's you know, let's try to keep this calm. You know, they're trying to control how much this gets talked about. So if you wonder why you can't talk about certain things in streamers chats, I've been told by many people that they tried to talk about their favorite streamer uh, about cheating or about my video and they either got ignored or their message got removed or they get timed out or something. Why do you think that is? They're doing as much damage control as they possibly can. I don't expect people to talk all about me in their streams. I don't talk about other streamers in my streams. So I don't expect people to have full discussions about me, but to talk about cheating, you're not allowed to talk about cheating in another people in another streamer stream. That's a whole different thing. I don't blame anybody for not wanting to talk about me or my video because I don't like to talk about other people or other people's videos in my streams. I just don't really do that. But if you were, if the topic was just cheating in general, right? Then why are they so against talking about that? would be my question. There was also some people who didn't like my tweet. The tweet in the first video where I said there was somebody using my name and cheating. I made a public statement about it because Crytek didn't do anything about it for 24 hours. A point was brought up that I tagged Iceman in it. But the thing is, when I made that tweet, I had never told anybody who my contact at Crytek was. I never said it was Iceman. In the tweet, I never said, hey, Iceman is the guy that I'm talking to. I never said Iceman's the guy that's not doing his job. I never said anything like that. The reason I tagged David Feffield and Iceman in the tweet is because those are two prominent people at Crytek, or they were. David Feffield is the general manager of Hunt Showdown and Iceman was the senior community manager. That's the reason I tagged both of them. That wasn't even me trying to publicly call out Iceman. I tagged them because of their positions at Crytek. Nobody at that point knew at all that Iceman was the guy that I was talking to. That wasn't even me publicly trying to shame him directly. I tagged them because of their position at Crytek. Another Reddit poster had a long post, but their general point was who the f 
do you think you are? Here, I would like you to try to see this from my point of view. I'm going to go back to the Iceman DM. So, <laughs> starting on November 11th, 2023, this is actually the DM. I'm spectating games for hours and hours, finding a lot of cheaters. I'm not talking reshade or soft cheating. I'm talking actual walls and aimbot that are obvious when you spectate them in game. If I get you their profiles, will you actually ban them? Yep. So for me to be like, hey, there's something that is an issue for me right now. Could you please handle it? Could this be handled as fast as possible? That'd be fantastic. You know, for me to ask something for them to take care of a cheater that's using my name, I don't think is that big of an ask for all of the cheaters that I provided to them. I don't really think it's that big of an ask. So for somebody to be like, who the f does huge think he is? I think I provided them hundreds of cheaters, which are all accounts that got banned. Another point to that was somebody was like, Iceman is, you know, he's got this whatever title he's got. He's the senior community manager. I get it. That's cool. That's great. If he's too busy, pass me on to somebody else. I don't care who I'm talking to. Pass me to some somebody else who's handling the bans. I don't care who I'm sending the information to. It doesn't bother me. If he's too busy, he has too much on his plate. That's fine. Give me to somebody else who's going to respond within a reasonable amount of time. I didn't need to talk to Iceman. Just, I would have been totally fine if they said, hey, you know what? I'm, I'm a little too busy. Talk to so-and-so and they'll handle it, right? That was the only person that I was talking to. So yeah, that's who I think I am. <laughs> I think that's going to be it for this video for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And possibly there's going to be, maybe, I, I'm not going to promise it because I have no idea if the other person's going to agree to it or not, but maybe there's going to be a Wang Zai interview. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully. I'd be down. I don't know if it's going to happen, but subscribe. Thank you for watching.